But everybody already know who it is. I was watching Lord of the Ring. I was not going to make a video. But some of y'all, man, I need to break some knowledge so y'all can know. Because some of y'all be watching TV too much and really don't know how the, the business work. When I said Birdman was buying Lil Wayne CDs, it's not. Some people might say, oh, that's stupid. Why would he buy CDs? Why would he buy $11 million a, a Bentley? Get out of here. Like You know what I mean? Like He's buying fucking NASA headphones for like $40 million. You know, it's like... He, he wastes his money on stupid stuff. Like, every time you see an interview, he's always bringing out um, a loaf of money or uh, how many chains he got and all that. He always bragging about it. So, I mean, you know, I mean, if you got it, you got it, whatever. But a lot of people don't know how business works, just business in general. You know how Walmart be selling their prices? You know how they had a little everyday low prices? They go over countries and have factories and other people that have factories or whatever. I think it's one company like Foxconn or whatever. And they like they can't do it in the US because we're gonna have to actually give us a damn salary. We are not gonna be working for like fifty cents an hour. Now with people like in other countries that's making your laptops and all that for like fifty dollars I mean um fifty cents an hour. You know, and then they sell it over here for hella cheap. The companies is making a lot of money doing that. They they can't do that because you can't you can't have a fucking company in the U.S. and chart and get somebody a job saying, "Oh, you're gonna uh, be working for fifty cents an hour." They gonna say eat shit, but you can do that shit over other countries and get away with it. So that's what a lot of companies do. Apple do it, Microsoft, everybody do it. Mostly everybody do it just to stay in competition. So you probably have to do it too. Um, for example, it's good for business. Um, for example, I don't know how y'all know how YouTube work. Um, you probably always wonder, like, how the fuck do these people get on front page of YouTube? You ever just seen somebody random, you never seen them before, and he don't got no subscribers and all that? To get on front page, you have to, a person has to favorite your video a lot of times. Let's say I had like a, a million YouTube bots or whatever, YouTube accounts. A million YouTube accounts, and I favorite one of my videos. I'm gonna get on front page. If you're using different proxies, all that stuff like that. If you don't know what proxies is, then you're probably lost. But it's like using different connections. You're just everywhere. You're in Canada, you're there, and all that stuff like that. Different connections, whatever. Um, that's how they get on front page. It's not about how many people like your video, thumbs it up, how popular you are. If people favorite your video, you can get on front page. Now, somebody probably already used this feature and all this stuff like that and probably got a program. You invest in money. You find a program like, yo, man, um, can you make a, a, a Twitter a bot maker and make a, make it a way so I can put the URL so it can just favor my videos on every fucking account that I have and I put it on there. And they probably like, yeah, sure. And then how you have like 50 subscribers and you have like 50,000 favorited videos. Somebody favorited. And it's on front page. Now some of y'all probably going to be looking on front page like, oh, okay, let me see if this is true or not. Um, now the people that's so big on YouTube, you probably can't even tell because they probably already used the system and scammed it so much that they have like 500,000 subscribers. And you can't really tell if they're cheating or not because they already used it. And y'all wasn't checking at the time y'all should have been checking. Because, you know, it's like once you're on front page, you're going to have some people hating on you. You're going to have some people that's going to subscribe to you. But more than likely, you're going to get a lot of subscribers and that's a lot of traffic coming to your YouTube videos. And you're making money if you're a partner. And more than likely, if you're not a partner, you're probably going to be a partner because you have people coming to your traffic and all that stuff like that. So I just told you a secret. Um, I ran a website. On Twitter, it was like a music site. You have a, uh, you know, like the Facebook apps, the game, Farmville, and all that stuff like that. I had a uh, site, it was called Twit Music. It got on my damn nerves because it had so many errors, and I just got annoyed. And I was running on like an iCore 7 um, uh, server with like 8 gigs of RAM, and it just kept on crashing. So I got tired of that, all the crashings, all that stuff like that. It was a good site, but it was just getting annoying where I just said, you know what, whatever, I might bring it back, who cares? When I started the site, it's Twit Music was for artists to upload their music, you know, and share it with other people on Twitter. So, you know, you sign on using your Twitter account. So what I did was, when my site wasn't popping, I said, yo, let me make 20 fake, um, let me make 20 Twitter accounts and act like I'm unsigned, um, I'm an unsigned artist. Like different ones. I was Lil Reggie, Lil Timmy. 
I was um big uh big steak, you know what I mean, like rapper names or whatever, and I would upload the music and then once I uploaded like twenty people music or whatever, stuff like that, people was I was uh promoting it. And I was telling people, yo, check out the site, the site pop and all that stuff like that. And I changed the numbers up. So I say like we have a total of two thousand members, but we only had twenty members because they was all me. And I was telling other people about it and all that stuff like that, but mostly it was all me. But they didn't know about that, so they probably like, oh man, this site might be popping if it got two thousand members, but it didn't have two thousand actual members on it. Fake numbers. I was really scamming the system. So they logged on to the site and I actually got real members. I took the fake members off that I uploaded and I had 10,000 members. So it was a good business move for me. You know, that's how business works. You know, like when Birdman bought the CDs, people going to be like, damn, if he sold a million like first week, shit, I might as well get the damn CD. You feel me? So that's how it works. Um, a lot of stuff work like that for Twitter. Let's say you want to promote yourself on Twitter. You know how they have the trending topics, all that stuff like that. If you have a tweet, let's say I tweet Diddy and say, Diddy, eat shit. And somebody retweet it. If I have 100 people to retweet it, I will have a top tweet. The top tweet will gain you more followers on your Twitter. And you will get more traffic. So if I get the top tweet, like every damn day, I'm going to get more followers and more traffic and all that stuff like that. More traffic to my Twitter page. And then I can promote whatever I want to promote. That's good. That's a good business move. That's about it. Uh, you know, that's how it's it's a lot of stuff I can't even really tell you. I'm just giving y'all little snippets of how stuff works. That's how business work. I remember I ran another site. I was putting people on talking about yo the site popping, blah blah blah. But it wasn't. It's just to trick people to actually think it's actually doing good, but it's actually not. But it's gonna be doing good when they actually get on it. That's what you do in business. I mean you have to use your mind. It might be a, it might Birdman bought all these albums, it might be risky, he might, you know, fuck it, but he, you know, he buying Bentleys, he buying fucking, you know, whatever, but, um, that's just to let people know how business work a little bit, just giving y'all a little bit of tips, y'all might take my tips, like, damn, I might have to try that out, but, um, you know, I know a lot of stuff, but I can't be telling everybody everything, because if I told, that's one thing about business, like, you cannot tell everybody everything, because if you tell one person, everybody fucking knows. That's why I like what I'm telling you right now is that's little stuff. Like what I know, eat a dick.